What do you think in the year of 2023, what do we come to expect out of Brock Lesnar, who's also always is in somehow the title picture and talks? Honestly, I do expect another title reign. I just don't expect him to be like uh I do expect him to be universal champion again, or if not, I expect a lot of handicap matches. Because I feel like it's coming that Brock versus Bobby is going to happen at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. And I do expect the, the Hurt Business to return and jump Brock Lesnar. Well, that's what I expect from Bobby Le- Not Bobby. Brock Lesnar this year. Mm. And then we got also, I'm going to throw out another name. A name that we have completely forgot about because he's been injured. The legend killer, Randy Orton. What do we expect from Randy Orton in 2023? Retiring. Oh. Oh. Man, we got it's so much to it's so much to like. I think this year Royal Rumble is probably gonna be one of the best Royal Rumbles because we know Cody Rhodes is supposed to be back. So that even if we know that it still will be amazing to see him win. But what we don't know is you got people like Randy Orton. We got people like Edge. You got people like Brock Lesnar. You got people like The Rock. So many people that was like could just be surprise entrants that can shock us. So I feel like this year's Royal Rumble is probably going to be one of the best ones. I'm thinking about like Sasha Banks, Naomi and Beth Phoenix coming out the cut for uh, the Royal Rumble it's- as well. Exactly. I just hope they don't do nothing stupid. Like, all right. Well, we know. Uh, we know. Old girl just lost the belt. What's this? You know, have her come in at the end again and win it. Man, oh, man, that hurt so much. But I'm looking forward to it, man. But you know what? Also, I think will look kind of weird. What they just make like Alexa Bliss win the Royal Rumble and she faces uh Bianca Belair at WrestleMania. Ooh, I, I mean, I just watched, you know, I was just watching the top 10 raw highlight moments and Alexa Bliss was beating down um, Bianca Belair. <laughs> um, and they keep teasing the whole her being a part of the Bray Wyatt crew and team. I'm just like, put her together with Bray Wyatt already. Stop teasing it. Like, I'm tired of seeing ah, the teasing. We need the slow build up, man. You can't just give your cake. And have you eat it at the same time? Nah, you gotta wait for it, man. man you gotta eat dinner first, man. We've been seeing this tease for too long. It's like, how long y'all just gonna keep teasing it? It's like, hey, they've been teasing fans with Bray Wyatt in a wrestling match for for months. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all waited that long. Y'all could wait a little longer. And then, but I mean, ultimately, I don't know if I want to see that. Like, I don't. I think what I think what they're going to plan to do because Ronda just lost the belt. I think Ronda somehow is going to end up facing Bianca Belair at, at WrestleMania. I think that's what they're going to end up doing. I don't want to see that. If Ronda gets in this picture, I got to see Ronda get folded by Bianca Belair. I don't want to see Ronda versus Bianca. I don't want to see that. And then, because, I mean, right now, I wanted to see Ronda versus Charlotte, but they made Charlotte the SmackDown Women's Champion super quick. So I was like, we probably ain't about to see that. So. And isn't Becky Lynch on Raw right now? She is. So Becky Lynch and Bailey. So those two may have a possibility of facing Bianca Belair. But Sasha, Sasha is the real one I really want to see make that return. This should be Sasha's year. So, um, what if like Sasha wins the New Japan World Women's Championship, then slides in, and I'm like, I'm gonna win the WWE Championship as well. She's like, and she submits her legacy like, I'm going to be the quote just like that. 